Okay, so like I just mentioned in my last video, uh, we're going to kind of fix this nose area um, as we go along. So the first thing that I'm going to focus on is this nostril area just here. I think the gap is just too big. Um, I need to kind of input another edge in there so it can carve that nostril off a little bit. It's looking a little blockish at the minute, a bit too blockish. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into my edit poly. In fact, let me get rid of UV mapping because I was just playing around with something a little earlier. Uh, I'm going to go to edge. I'm going to select these three edges and just hit connect. And once that's connected, I'm going to go to target weld on my vertices and just target weld this point just here. So yeah, I do have a um, triangle that's just appeared just here. And you know, there's nothing wrong with having a triangle. It's just that you should always try and avoid using triangles. Um, so just for future reference, just, you know, make sure that you try to avoid them. Only use them when you really, really have to. Um, okay, so let me just kind of go in and line this up a little better just going to kind of create that curve just there okay it's looking okay to ensure that I'm kind of lining this up as best as I can um, you know else it can look really wrong um, I don't want to make our nose too wide and I don't want to kind of go in and make it too thin either so it's really important that I kind of spend a bit of time just to make sure that the nose looks looks right and looks okay um, I'm not quite sure it is looking that great at the minute so I'm just going to kind of adjust it a little bit more I think it's a little wide at the front. Something like that might be better. Okay, let's see how that goes. Um, what, what I've actually done wrong is um, kind of these polys, if you look inside, they just continue straight and it leads on to the top of the sort of lip area. Now that's wrong. Uh, the reason being is kind of you know the polys on top of the lip should kind of loop around the bottom of uh, the lips as well, so kind of around the upper chin area. So what I'm going to do at this stage is delete this poly just here. Press delete, and then I can kind of extrude this edge around the lips like this, similar to how I did around the eyes, just to create this kind of loop. But you know before I can go forward and do any of that. Um, I need to kind of extrude this area down. Of course, target weld diverts to that. And just make sure that you're lining it up again. You know, the, you can see straight away that there's kind of two, there's an edge that cuts in between here. So I need to kind of place a new edge between this area here as well. So the way that I'm going to do that is, again, I'm just going to go to edge. I'm going to select these three edges and I'm going to hit connect. There we have it. That lines up a lot better. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hold control and select the two opposite edges where the gap is. And if I click onto bridge, that's going to bridge that gap. So it's going to fill that gap like so and then you can kind of play with the um, vertices just to line them up a little better of course save again At this stage now, if I kind of rotate around the bottom, can you see how 
you know, the front of the lips, they're just way too sharp. It looks really, really wrong at the moment. It just looks totally wrong. So what I'm going to do to fix that in my side view, I'm going to select these edges just, uh, these vertices just here. Not, not press my Windows key, of course. Um, and just drag it forward. You know, if you look from the bottom just here, it's going to give us a good indication of how it's looking is it okay and that's better I think and then I want to kind of pull these forward as well So that's looking a little better now. And maybe some of these points just here as well. Just kind of make sure that they are lined up correctly. And again, don't worry if it's not perfect because like I keep reiterating uh, the point that, you know, it is a, um, a, a stage right now which is just to map out the basic kind of shape and you will have to do a lot of tweaking to make sure it looks like you know what you know the person you want it to look like so we've kind of just got that top of the lip area just done uh, which looks okay um, I think I could possibly do with pulling this forward as well because I think I don't want to kind of make that top of the mouth area just too um, with the angle to be too kind of sharp so I'm just going to adjust this a little bit going to kind of change the angle slightly because you have to kind of line it up in each view so if the if this area of the lip is what's being uh, where that vert is for that area of the lip it has to kind of line up in here too so I'm going to drag that across till it lines up like so and then I can just kind of change the angle of these points so it kind of creates a smooth um, a smooth edge and I can kind of do the same here don't worry if it looks a little bit too kind of um, angled. Uh, that's not the case at all. It's actually looking really good at this stage. So that's kind of what what you want. That's kind of what you want to be looking for. A curve like that. So it's nicely kind of going around the lips as well. And let's just kind of pull that forward even further a little bit. Okay, so let's just go ahead from this stage and just finish off the nostril area. Um, you know, there's a big kind of gaping gap where the nostril should go. Uh, and of course, her nostril is not that big, so I'm just going to adjust this slightly. Kind of pull this in. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to select the polys around, not the polys, select the edges that are around the nostril area. Then I'm going to um, just make sure that, whoops, I've just rotated my left view. Let's just zoom in again. I'm actually just going to change the angle of something really quickly. I'm just going to pull this one up slightly like that because you know there is a slight curve at the bottom of um, at the front of the nose just there so you, you want to kind of add that in there like so 
And now what I've just mentioned, I'm just going to select the edges that go around and we'll carry on in the next uh, video.